For all your fishing needs, come to Captain Hornbills. Whether a fleet or a weekend angler, he's got everything to make him jump out of the water. Fair enough. So welcome back to Assassin's Creed 3, everybody. Uh, my name is Maxwell with Screen Reality Games Channel. And what are we doing? When we left off last time, we had to make our way to the general store, probably to make some purchases and spend, Jesus Christ, £2,850. Fairly sure in these days that £2,850 would be a small fortune. I'd probably be able to retire on that much money. Jesus, what are we expecting to buy? Ah, <sighs> oh, look at the little doggy. Look at the little doggy. Get out of here, dog. Get out of it. Oh no, I guess I'll give him a stroke. Oh, that's a good dog. That's a good dog. Alright, I'll see you later. Don't you follow me. Don't follow me. Right, so, to the shop. <laughs> probably to buy ourselves... Do we have a sword? No! So we're probably going to buy ourselves a sword. Oh, what's this? Damn, Spriggs. This accursed city will be the death of me. You seem troubled, friend. That's because I am. Greatly so, in fact. What's happened? I was robbed. The old Balkan file. Though I've managed to restore what's mine, I fear it's ruined. You mean the book? This is no ordinary book. It's an almanac. Oh, never is an ordinary book. I ever wrote. <clears throat> Benjamin Franklin, pleased to meet you. Hatham Kenway. You must be new to Boston. Why do you say that? You're still possessed of virtue. <laughs> to stop and help an old lout like myself. I... I don't mean to impose, but you seem a spry fellow. Should you happen to find my missing pages, I'll reward you. Look, I'm not sure if I... It's all right. All so that's our first mini-game the then, find pages of good old not, Ben Franklin's no journal. Fantastic. Is useless in its current state anyway. But should you somehow manage to restore it, you'll find me inside that general store over there. All right, well, I suppose I've come no. across any pages. That was interesting. If I come across any pages, I guess I'll give them to him. Right, to the general store. Let's buy some stuff. Open the door. Ah, hello, good sir. I would like what some need, things. Let's have a look. What do you have to buy? Normal weapons. A normal... S 700 pounds! For a sword! Jesus! I suppose swords in the day probably were quite expensive. What have we got into firearms? Flintlock pistol. 2,000! Jesus! Pretty sure a flintlock pistol wouldn't be 2,000 pounds. I'm sure I probably could have bought a castle for that much money. You, sir, are a thief. Uh, let's get out of here. Right! How do I equip these weapons? Oh, is that done? Uh. There we go. Right, what's the plan now? What are you doing over there? Oh, onto the horse. We ride for the Green Dragon Tavern. The proprietors are eccentric, but the rooms are spacious and they do not pry. Have you been told why it is I've come to Boston? No. Master Birch said I should know only as much as you saw fit to share. He sent me a list of names and bade me ensure you could find them. And have you had any luck with that? I, William Johnson, waits for us at the Green Dragon. How well do you know him? Not well, but he saw the order's mark and did not hesitate to come. Prove yourself loyal to our cause, and you may yet know our plans as well. I should like nothing more, sir. Oh, I don't trust him. <clears throat> I think we should assassinate him at our earliest opportunity as well. He should be content not to know any of our plans and just help. I'm very untrusting. Well, I guess I'm going to be murdering a lot of people before the end of this game. Where are we going? Oh my god, I'm stuck on a cart. Oh, we're here. Are we going in? Or are you just going to lounge on the wall there? Oh, you're waiting for me. Of course you are. A lying, cheating, no good son of a bitch. Perhaps you've come at a bad time. Oh, don't be foolish, dearies. Please, sit. Fancy something to eat? A drink, perhaps? Or is it a bed you require? We've already let rooms here. Uh, oh, yes. Uh, of course. 
Masters Lee and Kenway, uh, was it? Ah, uh, I'll have your bags brought up. Oh, if looks could kill. <laughs> Do you require anything further? Only privacy. Okay. Follow Charles Lee. I'm guessing this guy, of course, is Charles Lee. New weapon available in shops. Oh, fantastic. Here's the dude here. Are you drunk, sir? Sir, William Johnson. A pleasure. A good lad. If a bit earnest. I'm told you're putting together an expedition. We believe there's a precursor site in the region. I require your knowledge of the land and its people to find it. Sadly, my research has been stolen. Without it, I'm of no use to you. Then we'll find it. Do you have any leads? My associate, Thomas Hickey, has been making the rounds. He's quite good at loosening in Well, tell me where I can find him. I'll see if I can't speed things up. We've heard rumors of bandits operating from a compound southwest of here. You'll likely find him there. Charles? Sir. We'd best be off. Of course. Okay. Animus database, William Johnson. And Thomas Hickey. Yeah, you just lounge up there. I'll uh I'll take care of this. Oh, weird little uh shuffle there. Am I gonna oh no, I was just gonna say am I gonna have to ride a horse all the way there, but no, it just puts me here, which is good. So I'm guessing this is the fella here. Thomas Hickey? Who's asking? Haytham Kenway. Is that supposed to mean something? Show some respect, boy. Peace, Charles. William Johnson sent us in the hopes we might expedite your search. Don't need no expediting. Don't need none of your fancy London speak, neither. I found the men that done the Then why fair. are you just lazing around? Figuring out how to deal with those varlets. I have an idea. Will this hear it? Kill them all. I'll kill the lookout. Oh, okay. Take up a position behind the guards. Now you two approach from the front. When I open fire on the group, you charge in. We'll have the element of surprise on our side. Half will fall before they've even realized what's happened. Sounds good. Let's kill him. Boom. Get into position. But wait for me to take the first. Alright. Do I have to reload this gun? Yeah, of course I do. Because it's a flintlock pistol. There we go. Right. Probably do with a better gun to beat. No, actually, I'll stick with a pistol. Right, where are these guys? There they are. Boom! Is that it then? Done? Right. What now? Oh, I can hide in these bushes. That's pretty cool. Uh, hmm, am I going to have to take these guys out? Because I need to get around them. Hmm. We have to get to the courtyard, so am I going to have to kill... Oh, there's four of them, though. I can't really kill four guys. Can I sneak around behind them, do you think? No, I can't. Tam. Oh, God. Fighting is a little more dangerous when it's not tutorials. Run away! <laughs> okay, that's a little easier. Okay, have some counter attacks. Did we do it? Yes! Fall back. Got the rest of them. Fall back. We'll be safe inside. <laughs> Jesus, that was a bit of a mess. What now? We can blow the door with those. Go on, shoot them. Uh, okay. Uh, F to aim. 
Oh, nice. Oops. Boom. Nice. Right. Oh, I want to come out of him. Have I reloaded? Yes. But it looks like everybody is dead. Oh, luckily the explosion killed everybody. I wonder if I can loot dead bodies. Oh, I can. Fourteen pounds. Check me out. Thirteen pounds. Oh god, this is going to get laborious having to loot every single body. Fifteen quid. That guy, he was rich. I guess it's not true that crime doesn't pay. Apparently crime does pay fairly well. Well, saying that, it pays fairly well until a badass assassin comes in, blows your doors up, kills everybody, and then just rifles through your pockets and steals all your hard-earned money. Then I guess crime doesn't pay. Sweet. Uh, oh, there's the chest there. Oh. We've Lay been rumbled. Weapons, and I'll consider letting you live. I make you the same offer. We've no quarrel. I only wish to return this chest to its rightful owner. Nothing rightful about Mr. Johnson. I won't ask again. Agreed. We got a Mexican standoff. Nope, apparently not. It would have been a Mexican standoff, except I just shot him and then stabbed his friend through the face. Whoops, I didn't want that. Your kind has no need for books and maps. Who put you up to this? Never seen a person. It's always been dead drops and letters. But they always pay, so we do the jobs. Well, those days are done. God, he looks a bit evil. Your masters, Charles, look much. at those eyes. <laughs> Who should I say you are? You don't. They'll know. Hey, Fum. This one's got some shot on him. You might want to be grabbing it on account of your pistol being parched. Is it? I didn't realize so many had to die. Aye. Oh. Terrible tragedy. Need to hold e. Back to the green dragon then. I need a drink. What do I do? Do not let Hickey or Lee, lo Lee lose more than half their health. Okay. Sounds easy enough. Come on then, chaps. Careful, gents. We've company. Don't let go of the chest, Charles. Here we'll we go. Take care of this. In the neck. No, don't reload. Just fucking chop them in half. Oh, Jesus. Okay, I'm pretty sure I told him not to drop the chest, but he did anyway. That's fair enough. He was just defending himself. Are you mad? He's a right scallywag. In case you've forgotten, we're in the midst of something. Uh, do I need to reload Why my pistol? Go I do. It's fairly handy, these pistols. Alright, let's get the crap out of here. Oh. Are we walking through a co This looks like a perfect place for an ambush. Right through the centre of two cornfields. Right. Where are they going to come from? Where are they going to... Ah, there we go. And dead! Next! We'll just let that fella take care of everybody else himself. Oh no, he's getting the shit kicked out of him. There we go. Reload the old pistol. Nope, this guy's on the roof. Not a badass, so I'll just calmly walk up, shoot him. This guy here is going to get stabbed. Boom! Right now I'll reload. Well, that went pretty well. 
Where are they going to come from next? We're probably going to get attacked a couple more times before the end of this thing. Probably all hiding in that wagon there. That'll be my guess. Bunch of bandits hiding in this wagon. Oh, here they come. There we go. Bunch of bandits hiding in the wagon. Don't reload. Boom! Oh, I'm getting good at this countering. Except that guy, I just decided to throw him over a fence. Oh, God. Slice. Where are you going? Jesus. Ha 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 ha, wow. Right, let's reload this gun. I'd love to loot the bodies and uh, get some spare pistol shot, but that's not going to work. Alright, we've got some guys up on the roof, have we? We'll see about that. Bye bye. You can come out now, guys. It's safe. Well, is it not safe? No, oh, apparently not. I didn't realise there was more guys. Ah, there they are. Uh, can I get him? In the face? Yes, I can. Is there more? Yes, there is. Oh, I'm just going to have to wait and shoot this guy. Come on, reload. There we go. Well, damn. Turned a bit of a killing machine there. Oh, get out of aiming mode. Right, what now? Oi, Mr. Johnson's going to need to double my pay after all this if he expects me to keep at his side. Yeah, whatever you say, Jack. You're the master race. There you are. My thanks, Master Kenway. No. Tell me what it is you need. The images on this amulet, are they familiar to you? Perhaps one of the tribes has shown you something similar. It appears Kanye and Gahaga in origin. Can you trace it to a specific location? I need to know where it came from. With my research returned, perhaps. Let me see what I can do. Thomas! Whoa. Rent yourself a room. And a bath as well. I yes, stinky we'll bugger. Here for a while. Right, so what do I do in the meantime? Do I just go to sleep? Oh, we couldn't have two separate bedrooms. The budget not swing to two separate bedrooms? No? Or is this... Is this my bedroom? No, oh, this one has a fire in it. Although it has, uh... Three beds, and... I don't really need three beds. 